I, I want to make the people happy, you know, and remember me. So it's very important to me. It's laugh and it's hugs and kisses. Eddie was always laughing, always had that big old smile. I miss him with the bottom of my heart. I miss everything about him. There's not one thing that I don't miss. I miss his uh, quirkiness and his heart. And I miss him. I miss him. But I'll see him one day. Being a second generation wrestler, he had big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. Big shoes to fill. And I think he did it very well every night. So many things I miss about him. You know, he's just uh, uh, to me, you know, it's not not a whole lot of people that I can turn to. Usually, I'm I'm the guy that a lot of guys turn to. Uh, he was one of those guys that I could turn to. For everyone that supported me and everybody that's been behind me since the beginning, I say gracias, thank you, orale. We all knew that Eddie Guerrero was one day gonna be inducted into the Hall of Fame. We just didn't think it was gonna be so soon. Eddie lived through all of your energy. And whether he was meeting you outside of the ring or doing a wrestling match, he always wanted to give you back a thank you in return because he appreciated every one of you. Thank you for your endless support and love. Thank you and God bless all of you, thank you. And his infectious smile, his infectious laughter was just making me happy watching him be happy. And if you would have told me back then, last year, that I'd be up here today inducting Eddie Guerrero because of his passing, I would never, ever have believed any one of you. He loved his family. Talking specifically to you, Vicky and his daughters. He loved you. He did everything for you. He made us laugh, he made us cry, he made us hate him, he made us love him. And all those memories stay within our hearts. And we take those every day in our prayers. And that's what keeps Eddie alive.